Santa Claus pulled up, come get the loot You better be watching what you do Not that least you got to go and do You been good, haven't you? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. If you're new, I film hygiene, fragrance, and lifestyle related videos. So if that's something you're into, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So in today's video, this is going to be another layering combo video and it is very affordable, very easy, and a lot of you might have a lot of these things already in your collection, so there's no need to run out and buy a bunch of stuff. So if you want to see my layering combinations as well as vlogmas day 11, then just keep watching. First and foremost, I know that I keep bringing up vanilla mocha cream, but this is the time of the year for vanilla mocha cream. I love this so much. It's like a creamy vanilla coffee cappuccino type of scent. So I chose to pair that with cinnamon donut swirl, which is so yummy. It is like a light cinnamon, a little doughy, and a tad bit jammy as well type of fragrance. So you put these two together, it's like you have a cinnamon donut and coffee type of deal but i did not stop there i also mixed merry christmas which is ice cinnamon rolls with this lotion i do layer my lotion sometimes so i just put both of them in my hand and come up with a concoction because i wanted the cinnamon to be a little bit stronger in this routine and i don't mind the cinnamon in this routine because it is like a more sweeter cinnamon instead of like a spicy cinnamon so it's like cinnamon sugar and then of course I paired these two mist together on top. So it had like a slight little orange zest, some jamminess, some coffeeness, <laughs> coffeeness, <laughs> some coffee, some cream and donut. It just was so gourmand and so delicious. Um, I use this for a Sunday um, self care day basically. So self-care Sunday so this scent right here was just so cozy especially while it's chilly outside it just made me feel so good and if you have these just go ahead and try this out because I promise if you enjoy these scents individually putting them together is just so delicious I love it so next this combo right here oh my goodness so I have been wanting to break up like some of my gourmands and just like get a little more fruit because even though I am an extreme gourmand lover, I always want to smell edible. I always want to smell like cake. Sometimes gourmands can get boring and sometimes they can get flat. So what I like to do is every now and then add some fruit into the mix and just kind of brighten it up. And to me, that also helps with like winter blues. Although this year, I'm proud to say I have not had deep winter blues like I've had before. And I'm feeling like that's because it's not snowing outside because you guys know I hate snow. But <laughs> anyway, I say all that to say, I layered these two lotions together. So this is Peach Prosecco Macaron. This is just like a nice peachy vanilla cookie scent. And I'm not sure who told me I need to add like vanilla to it because I wasn't getting much vanilla from it at all. But I did go ahead and add native sugar cookie lotion to this because the sugar cookie lotion is thin, it is watery. So I did add it to the Bath and Body Works lotion to get the scent and it was just so good together. Like these two together, it just really smelled like a peach macaron. Like that cookie, that butteriness, the crunchiness, and also the light hint of peach was just chef's kiss. And then I also added golden vanilla from Scentworks. You guys know how I feel about this. This one is, you know, I have a huge dent in this. It's just like very just gourmand, warm, toasty vanilla, just very crunchy. And then of course I added the mist on top. So even though there's no perfume involved, it's like this right here will have you smelling like a straight up snack, just straight up delicious. I highly recommend if you have some variation of these scents, try this combination out. You will not be disappointed. You will be smelling like a nice crunchy peach macaron just so delicious like you will want to take yourself to a tea party once you try this combo okay <laughs> this is another scent that I had used to break up the winter blues and make sure I use something bright and uplifting so I pulled out my strawberry soda and if you are familiar with strawberry soda this is very heavy on the strawberry it's very effervescent it literally smells like strawberry pop like 
they really embodied a strawberry soda in a bottle so i had to go ahead and use that because this is strong on its own and then i pulled out triple berry triple berry martini because some of those scents that we got from last year i feel like a lot of us are not showing them love anymore we get so excited for these scents and then we just push them in the back of the collection never to be seen again and i want to make sure that i'm showing all the things that i love before the same amount of love now because i don't want to get into a cycle of just chasing the next best thing and not enjoying what i actually have and remembering why i love these scents in the first place so i went ahead and paired that with juicy couture lay bubbly so this has a champagne note it also has blood orange it has praline it also has amber so not only is it pretty and effervescent it also has like a warmness to it that i feel like can be used year round you can definitely use this all year so these together gave me like a nice strawberry champagne slushy type of deal because i did use my native rose body wash to start off with and that is like strawberry wine so this definitely gave me like a strawberry wine slash strawberry champagne slushy type of deal and i really say slushy because it was very playful it wasn't just like you know you're drinking flat wine it was just like a wine slushy and around the corner from us we actually have a vineyard and they sell these delicious wine slushies and every summer i have to get one it's like a peach wine slushy it's just so fun to sit out there and listen to live music and um you know drink your cold wine slushy to refresh yourself and i really feel like this kind of embodied that and it kind of made me you know take a trip back to the summer and just feel a little uplifted and bright even though it is pretty gloomy outside so next up i have the new blush cardigan from math and body works I also paired that with my Ariana Grande Cloud and I paired that with my Pretty Ari by Ariana Grande. So this right here was very nice. So I don't have the mist to blush cardigan nor am I really interested in getting it because sometimes I feel so bogged down with raspberry scents because raspberry is a very overused fruit that I have so many that I can just come up with combinations and be okay. I don't feel like I'm missing out as long as I have at least one piece. But this is a very pretty raspberry. It's kind of perfumey as well and it is pretty fruity. So I do enjoy that. So I went ahead and used that as my base. And then I used my Cloud Mist. But of course, if you have the perfume, go ahead and use that. But this Cloud just has like such a nice sweet marshmallow, but also warm tone to it. And I feel I've never bought the perfume because I've just still been using this mist and I don't pick the mist up as much as I thought I would. So I do want to try Cloud 2.0 to see if I would pick up that one more because I did hear that it was sweeter. Um, although this one is pretty nice. So of course, if you have the perfume, you can go ahead and use that one. But I use that and then I'm top that off with Ari because this is just the prettiest. It's just, I know some people think that Ari is basic, but for some reason for me, it just puts me in my girly girl bag. Like it really makes me feel so girly. It is just very sweet and light and pretty. So easy going. And it also has a marshmallow note to it as well. For some reason, Ari is a very mixable perfume. This can go with so many things. I have mixed it with strawberry pound cake. I have mixed it with plenty of other fragrances and it just goes. Like it is just such an easy going, pretty fragrance. You know, not too difficult. Um, I come in the room and people are happy that I'm there. <laughs> like that's just what that makes me feel like. So this will always be a repurchase for me. Um, I'm finally getting through this perfume. It has a pretty nice dent to it. So I wanted to go ahead and pick it up because that's another fragrance that I was not showing enough love to because I'm the type of person I will love on something to death and then I'll just leave it alone. Like try to go around my collection, find things that I have not been showing enough love to and just taking myself back to positive peaceful times in my life with these fragrances and I've been having such a good time doing that. Like the excitement that I had finding certain things, it just brings me back to a wonderful time and place in my life so that is what I felt when I wore this fragrance and while a lot of people do love blush cardigan 
I find that I do really enjoy the lotion to it, but I don't necessarily need the mist because I'm just going to be using this as like a layering agent. So now I feel like I saved the best for last because when I was smelling myself, y'all, I smell so freaking amazing. Like I could not stop smelling myself. I just, I don't know. It's something about strawberry pound cake that when I always come back to it, it reminds me why I loved it in the first place. But in addition to strawberry pound cake, I went ahead and used my strawberry snowflakes because I realized that since I've had it, I had not used it one time yet. And I didn't want to fall in that rut once again where I'm just, you know, having something that I like. Like, oh, it's pretty, but I don't pick it up. So, Strawberry Snowflakes is just literally a juicy strawberry dipped in whipped cream. I often like to have a strawberry and whipped cream snack. And that is what this smells like to me. Now, while it is light and you do have to overspray, I feel like when you bring other things into the mix, it just helps to elevate it. Now, I'm not saying that you always have to layer everything and I don't buy things just for layering purposes. Sometimes that's just how it works out. But this is just such a pretty fragrance. And I feel like with the addition to the bergamot and you take away some of the cake that Strawberry Pound Cake has, it just really gives you such a juicy, sweet, pretty whipped strawberry type of scent. So I went ahead and added my red velvet pink sugar to the mix. Whew, I feel like that was definitely the cherry on top. Like the, the red velvet was the cherry on top because pink sugar, red velvet has a strawberry note. It also has whipped cream in there. It also, it has a bunch of stuff in there, but ultimately on my skin, it really dries down to a nice creamy, velvety buttercream type of scent, like a sweet buttercream strawberry scent. I just honestly felt like I was I wore a strawberry cake that had a lot of whipped cream and strawberry topping and icing on top but it also wasn't too heavy I feel like with the addition of the strawberry pound cake mist this would have been too heavy and it would not have given off the same effect because the body cream is already heavy red velvet is already heavy but with that pretty nice airy strawberry snowflakes this is like the perfect daytime combo the perfect little day out combo if you want to go shopping if you want to go to the movies if you're going out to eat or you're going out to brunch this is just such a pretty combination and i honestly feel like it could really work year round it just really makes me feel like you know i have my little coat on it's brisk outside I'm going to the car and I'm about to go have a nice little girl's day out. That's definitely what this little fragrance combination gives me and I love it so much. Those are all five fragrance combinations I have to show you guys. I am working on some more because I asked you guys in my community tab what you wanted to see from me. So of course I have the things that I'm already going to do that are lined up, but I do want to always make sure I'm giving my audience what they actually want from me. So. This is one of the layering combinations that I am very proud of because I absolutely loved each one of these. And I feel like if you have similar taste to me that you will love them as well. So make sure you guys turn on those post notifications so you will know when I drop Vlogmas Day 12. And I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.